surprise, motherfucker. Alright, hello and welcome to another Warframe Builds video. So, today we're going to be talking about Mesa, who is my favorite Warframe. Uh, an updated build for her, and it's not much different than what I've run in the past, uh, but it is more forma and has been updated, as you can see. Uh, it runs mostly duration for her buffs, her 2 and her 3, which are very, very good buffs, and strength for damage on her 4, and we have max efficiency on her 4 with our duration and efficiency, uh, and also trying to balance out the range so that the stun on her 2 is more respectable uh, in terms of its distance that it activates at. That's actually the reason that I have a rank 8 narrow minded in here instead of the maxed out, because it just is generally a little bit more comfortable to have it at about 15 meters uh, than at about 12 those extra three meters can really help you out in a lot of cases, I find. Uh, otherwise, this is pretty standard, pretty normal stuff here. Uh, it's going to do a lot of fucking damage, not in small part, by uh, this Twin Ricotta build. Uh, this is your general, like, standard crit build with a corrosive focus. Uh, it's corrosive focused because in general cases, you are never going to find an enemy that's going to really survive your four unless it has armor. So, using the okay status chance of her regulators to get rid of that upside uh, that enemies would have against you with having high armor is pretty good. Uh, in general, you're going to have no problems taking down pretty much any enemy in an incredibly short amount of time, even if they're under the protection of like an ancient healer, which we're going to show in a second. Uh, you can go for a max damage build and use Prime T to charge instead of Jolt, and that's totally reasonable. Uh, it's just not what I have done here. Uh, it's also worth noting that I choose the Twin Gricadas usually because fuck nullifiers. Uh, this is to get rid of as many nullifiers as possible, pop a bunch of bubbles. If there's like four of them on the field, now they're gone. Twin Gricadas take care of that instantaneously, and it's not a problem. I also usually am going to bring the Rack to Seranos or the Super Vandal in some cases um, because of the energy it can give me. Uh, which is very nice because Mesa can occasionally have some energy problems if you are not careful with her four or, of course, Magprox and such like that. And she needs energy to live because her three is so important. Uh, it's also worth noting before we get started with the test, uh, for companion choice, I'm going to very much suggest everyone take Taxon. Um, Taxon can give you more shields, and because of the 95% damage reduction from Mesa's Shatter Shield, 200 shields getting that from Taxon equates to 4,000 EHP. So, that's pretty good, as that's more than a third of the EHP of my Inaros. Definitely gonna want to bring Taxon. He's kind of your best friend. So, with that, though, we're not gonna have him in the test, because we usually don't for the Warframe tests. Let's do our normal test. Not that. Not, also not level 145. We usually do these at level 80. We'll show a 145 test in a second, though. With this, this is going to be totally trivial for Mesa. Uh, the enemies that we're going to be killing first are going to be under the protection of an ancient healer, so they'll last a second or two. Um, but otherwise, uh, the only thing stopping me from killing every other enemy is whether or not I can see them. And then they just kind of get vaporized the moment I can. Let's show that. Your three for the damage reduction, and your two for the damage increase and the close range stun. These guys are obviously under the protection of the ancient healers, but it doesn't matter. All the enemies I can see are dead. Heavy gunner's dead. He's stunned. I can get close to enemies, and they just either die or are stunned. And uh, they're all dead. It pretty much works exactly like that in... Ooh. We're hiding. In pretty much every sortie, uh, they pretty much just instantly die. And they get absolutely fucking vaporized. The kind of exception to that is if you get, like, a survival or a defense sortie with enhanced grenier armor. Uh, those enemies will... Those enemies will survive a little bit longer, but, uh, it'll still kill them in a pretty good amount of time. So, yeah... There's that. Uh, now we're going to show her kind of survivability. We're going to use a bunch of corrupted heavy gunners, and we're going to kind of just sit in it and shoot them. 
Uh, I'm probably going to die during this test because I'm not moving around and stuff like I should be. Uh, we're just going to kind of sit in the middle of them and show kind of the damage output at a level where, like, enemies can actually realistically take it. Uh, and also how much damage you can take with Shatter Shield. And remember, this is not the most damage I could be taking, as usually I'm going to bring Taxon, which is going to add 4,000 EHP every time it does its ability. Yeah, this damage output is about normal. Uh, it's worth noting that these guys have a collective EHP total of about 200 million. Uh, so, there's that. And also, you can see the respectable chance to status proc with me getting the stunning uh, impact procs on them. And again, part of my issue is going to be not um, being able to see all of them. But looks like they're all dead, though. Really, really high damage. Uh, and you can stun enemies that are near you. That really didn't actually show as much as I would like how much you can survive. So let's actually just kind of jump into the thick of it and just let them shoot me. You have, like, a really good survivability. Like, even just walking a little bit... Oh, oh their guns don't work. Yeah, well... Well, cl well... Well, if they could shoot me... Then I would take a lot of damage to, uh... To take out. As you can see, by those guys, uh... Hitting me a little bit from afar. Yeah, Mesa just doesn't generally really care that much. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, Mesa don't care. Uh, Mesa's weaknesses include AoE damage, which is mostly going to be Napalms and uh, also the toxic AoEs of Infested. Uh, and also Shatter Shield does not work on melee damage. So it's worth noting that if you let, like, say, a Butcher hit you, uh, which is under normal circumstances, never, uh, yeah, normal circumstances never going to work because your two will just stop them first. And they're also real dumb. Uh, if you just let them hit you, you will die. Uh, but that's usually not going to happen because the way that this normally goes is just like this. And he's going to be stunned before he has the chance to even get close to me. Because it's a 15 meter no zone around me. He's going to be stunned pretty often. So unless I'm like standing there waiting for him, he'll never touch me. Yeah. Yeah. Mace is a very, very safe, very, very high damage Warframe. And her biggest downside is that her one is kind of shit. But that's because it has a damage cap that's incredibly low. Um, honestly, I think Mesa would probably be my perfect Warframe if she just didn't have a damage cap on her one. So that she could build it up to be like a, a reasonable one-shot kill every once in a while. But yeah, that's Mesa. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.